And what's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Michael at RBM Crypto. In today's video, I'll be showing you a brand new release that has been built on top of the Dero blockchain called Dero Dex. Now, what is Dero Dex? Dero Dex is a distributed exchange which utilizes an automatic market making model, which allows you to swap or trade from one asset to another. Since everything on Dero Dex is running on Dero's new blockchain Stargate, every single swap costs a fraction of a penny or less in transaction fees, no matter the traded amount. This platform also offers the first bridge to Darrow assets from another blockchain and the first compatible blockchain that you'll be able to bridge your assets with is the Ethereum network. I'll be covering all the functionality of the Darrow Dex platform right now, so let's jump into it. But before we do, I just want to say two quick things. Number one, if you could just hit that like and subscribe button as it helps the channel grow and it helps me bring you guys a lot more content frequently, I'd really appreciate it. Number two, just want to give a quick shout out to the two developers responsible for this platform, Bisonors and PySwap. Great job, guys. All right, so if you haven't had a chance to set up your Ngram Daryl wallet or set up your RPC bridge, which is used to connect to the Darrow Dex from your wallet itself. I have two different videos where I show you how to set up your Ngram wallet and how to set up the Darrow RPC bridge. That way you can easily connect to use this Darrow Dex. I will put those videos in the description below. So you can go to those two videos, set up your Ngram wallet, set up the RPC bridge, and then you can join us back here right at this position on this video. Now, one quick thing that I wanted to mention that I haven't brought up in previous videos is when you're connecting to the RPC bridge, you can see the address that I've chosen is a public node. If you want, you can actually replace this with your own node that you're currently running on your computer. If you are running a node, that way it makes you completely self-sufficient and you don't have to rely on a public node, which is obviously better for security as well. So I would you know, recommend doing this and the developers at Dero uh, would recommend the exact same thing. All right, so let's jump into Dero deck. So the first section I want to actually cover is the chart section. This is where if you hit the update button here, you'll be able to see price charts on the current assets the platform actually supports. You can go to the pair section here. You can see all the different assets that are currently supported on Darrow Dex. So you can choose to switch uh, between whatever ones you want. You can head on over to uh, Darrow Route to BTC and you can choose different timelines to see price movement uh, over time. So that's the chart section on Darrow Dex. And the next section we're gonna move on over to is assets. This is where you'll be able to see which assets you currently have in your Darrow wallet. Right now, I currently have just shy of nine Darrow, which I'm gonna be using in this tutorial to show you how to swap assets, how to bridge your Ethereum-based assets to the Darrow network, and lastly, how to provide liquidity to one of the, the pools that are currently offered on Darrow Dex. So before I move into those three features, if you just click on Darrow here, or any of your assets, you can see that you can actually choose to transfer Darrow if you would like to on the Darrow blockchain to any specific wallet you'd like. Then you would just hit transfer assets and that allows you the capability of just transferring Darrow right within the platform itself. The next section I wanna cover is the swap section. This is where I can actually choose to swap my Darrow for any other asset that is currently provided on the Darrow Dex platform. Right now you can see uh, Darrow DAI, Darrow FRAX, Darrow USDC, Darrow USDT, Darrow Wrapped BTC, Wrapped ETH, and uh, Darrow GOHM. So these are the assets right now that you can currently swap with and are currently supported on the Darrow DEX platform. This is only gonna grow over time as they onboard uh, more assets for users to trade with and swap between. So let's just choose, uh, so let's just go with uh, Darrow USDT. And right now I'm just gonna choose to swap 25% of my current holdings, which is 2.23 Darrow to uh, Darrow USDT. And you can see the current slippage in the right here for the trade itself. And then you can just choose to hit swap. It's gonna ask you to confirm that swap, exchanging your Darrow for Darrow USDT. You can see here the pool fees and the gas fees. So basically the gas fees are almost non-existent at this point, a fraction of a penny at this point. And then the pool fees, which I will go into these um, when we go into the liquidity pool section. So now you're ready to swap your assets. You hit swap. And then it's going to ask you to confirm the transaction using your Darrow RPC bridge. And you're going to hit confirm. And you can see just like that, you've successfully swapped your Darrow for Darrow USDT. Very simple to use. And if you just refresh this page, you can now see that 
I have 6.69 Darrow and I have $10 worth of Darrow USDT. This arrow here allows you to swap in between the two. So if I wanted to swap my USDT back into Darrow, I can just hit max and it'll allow me to swap my USDT back to Darrow. And that's a quick tutorial on how to use the swap part of this platform. Now we're going to move on to the pool section. This is where you can see all the available pools that currently have liquidity on the Darrow Dex platform. This platform itself has been out for about three months now from what I've been reading with about $300,000 worth of liquidity already. So it's definitely growing and it will continue to grow in the coming months. Now let's just look at one of the pools here on the platform itself. So if you just go to Darrow and Darrow USDT, if you provide liquidity for this pair, you get 0.5% of all the swaps that are done on the platform, which was increased from 0.3. So that's gone up, which is great. And if we just click on this pair itself, it'll bring you into another window here where you can choose to add liquidity. If I just choose 25%, you can see here now it fills in 25% of my holdings on both sides, which is 1.67 Darrow and 7.61 USDT. Now I can choose to add both of these to this pool by hitting add. When I do so, the bridge will come up again, asking me to confirm the transaction. I hit confirm. Once again, successfully adding liquidity almost instantaneously uh, using the Darrow PC bridge and Darrow Dex. So based on the liquidity I've provided now to the pool itself, I get rewarded every single time somebody uses a swap right now at 0.5%. Now, when you choose to either add or remove liquidity from the pool itself, there is no added fee. You can just move them, you know, move your liquidity on or off the platform freely without incurring any additional fees, which is awesome. Now, if I want to remove that liquidity, which I've just added to this pool, all I need to do is be in the remove liquidity section. And then here you can choose the percentage of liquidity that you'd like to remove. If I were to choose hundred percent, you can see it'll remove all of my liquidity and I can hit remove and then I can hit confirm. And then my Darrow and my Darrow USDT will be sent back to my wallet from the liquidity pool. And that is how to use the liquidity section. As you can see here, my shares in the pool has obviously gone up since I've added some liquidity to this pool. The rest of them are at 0%. Now, lastly, we can move on to the bridge section. This is where now you can choose to bridge Ethereum based assets to the Darrow blockchain Stargate. This is the first bridge that I, I know of anyway, uh, where you can do this and the first bridge for Darrow to be able to bridge between other blockchains. So to use this bridge, obviously you're going to need an Ethereum wallet. I currently have MetaMask set up here in the top right hand corner. Here's my Ethereum address. And for today's demo, I'm going to be bridging some wrapped Ethereum. So you would just choose to select a symbol once you're ready to go. And I'm going to choose wrapped Ethereum. You can see I, I clearly have a small amount here of wrapped Ethereum in my account. And here is the bridge fee it's going to cost to go from the Ethereum network to the Darrow network. And here is obviously my existing balance that I have in my uh, Ethereum wall address. So right now I'm just going to choose to do max and it's going to send me my wrapped Ethereum from the Ethereum network to my Darrow wallet address, which I have listed here below. And I'm going to hit bridge token. It's going to bring my MetaMask up and it's going to ask me to give permission for Darrow Dex to access my wallet. And here's the transaction fee, $1.88. I'm going to hit confirm. As you can see on the bottom of the screen here, it's pending approval. Once the approval is given, you can see there it is. I've now given approval for Darrow Dex to bridge from Ethereum to Darrow. And then I'm just going to scroll down here and it's going to show the total transaction cost, which is obviously the amount that I am bringing over from Ethereum to Darrow and I'm going to hit confirm. And now you can see bridging successful. You can check the assets page and your wrap tokens should appear in a couple of minutes once the bridge has been done from Ethereum to Darrow. Now, if you go back over to the assets page, you can see now that I have my Darrow wrapped Ethereum that has successfully been added to my Darrow wallet. So now you can see here, I have three different assets in my Darrow wallet account. If I unclick owned, you can obviously see all the different assets that the platform currently supports, but that I don't currently have in my Darrow wallet. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I've shown you how to use the chart section here where you can choose to update 
and see the price charts of all the assets that are currently supported on the platform. I've shown you how to go to the bridge section here and shown you how to bridge your Ethereum based assets to Stargate. If you wanted to do the opposite of this process, all you would do is go Stargate to Ethereum. You would choose the symbol that you want to go back to Ethereum, which would be in my case, uh, my wrapped Ethereum. I would hit maximum and then I would hit reverse bridge token. And obviously you can see the fees are significantly less than they were on the Ethereum network when I made the initial bridge from Ethereum to Stargate, because let's be real, Darrow's blockchain is significantly more, um, significantly more efficient, especially right now. So that's the bridge section. And I've also shown you how to go to the pool section and how to add liquidity to any given pool. I've shown you the swap section, which is where you swap in between assets that you currently own or currently want. And lastly, the asset section where it shows all of the current assets that you have in your Dero wallet. Now I also wanted to add one major thing here at the end of this entire demo of using obviously the bridge, the liquidity pools and the swaps. The fact of the matter is you're doing all of this privately and anonymously, completely trustless. Nobody knows what you're doing once all of your assets are on the Darrow blockchain as it is the first completely private layer one protocol. And that to me is absolutely massive. You know, as soon as you're swapping your assets from Ethereum to Darrow, now everything you're doing is completely private and completely anonymous and nobody can see what you're doing. So to me, the value of that proposition alone right there makes this project something that uh, I think a lot of people should be looking at as we move into the future, especially with how things are looking uh, in the macro economy and the macro environment across the world. And with that said, that's it for the rest of this tutorial. If you're enjoying the content you're seeing, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.